Do it again. I spy with my, my little eye. Hold on. What's that? What? That? Oh, uh, I don't know. Looks more like a snack than a meal. Oh, it's too puny to be a dinosaur. And it's not furry enough to be a hairball. <laughs> Welcome, stranger. We're about to go have some fun. Come on. Now it's time to introduce yourself. If you see your name on an egg already, just click on it. If you don't, use the keyboard to type in your name and where you live. When you're done, click on Earl. Welcome! Let's start the adventure! Colossal Fossil Styracosaurus Colossal If this is your first time, not to not too tough. Alrighty, everyone in place? Game time! Okay, level one. Veggie heads versus meat eaters. To get started, load up our team with comets and rock shields. Be sure to give the nest to someone for safekeeping, though. If you need help with the rules, just click on the picture of me. Go, veggie heads! <laughs> Okay, here's how this works. It's herbivores, that's us, the good guys, versus carnivores. Yeah, you'll recognize them by the big teeth and the bad attitudes. Those nasty guys have stolen an egg from our nest, and it's up to you to get it back. First thing you gotta do is prepare. We wanna hide some stuff on our guys to help them in battle. So first, decide where you wanna put your rock shields. These will come in handy for protection. Let's give the rock shield to one of our herbivores. Terrific! Now let's put this second rock shield on another guy. Way to go! Now, in case these guys play dirty, we'll need to protect ourselves. Let's give each of these two guys a comet. Okay, now the most important part. We want to hide our nest so those carnivores can't steal any more eggs. Remember, whoever you give the nest to can't move, so choose carefully. All right, let's play. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. The bad guys also have shields and comets, and most importantly, they have the egg they stole from our nest. Your job is to find that egg. Now let me show you how to get around. Let's mix up the board a bit. Move your dinos by clicking on them like this. Then click on the space you want to move to. Your dinos can move one space backward or forward, left or right. Those little ankylosaurs up front, they can move more than one space at a time. Just click on the anky you want to move. Then click on the space where you want it to go. Pretty cool, huh? Now remember, big guys can capture little guys. So, stay away from the big guys. Duh! Also, remember that there are shields and comets hidden out there. Find the stolen egg and you've won! If you forget any of the rules, just click on the picture of me, Zinny, and I'll help you out. Okay, let's play. Okay, level one. Veggie heads versus meat eaters. To get started, load up our team with comets and rock shields. Be sure to give the nest to someone for safekeeping, though. If you need help with the rules, just click on the picture of me. Go, veggie heads! <laughs> click on a comet or a rock shield and place it on one of your pieces.
Good job. Now we're ready to go. Click on the piece you want to move, then click on the square where you want to move it. Pretty evenly matched.
don't want to disturb the nest. If you'd like to play again, click here. To leave this game, click here. Thanks for playing. Catch you later. Starak, colossal f gamer love match. Hey girls, look who just pulled into town. Your buffet table of love. All right, hot stuff. Ready? I am known as the Professor of Love, and school is in session. Oh boy. To help the lemurs pair up, find two flowers that are exactly the same and click on them. You can only click on a flower when it is open. Match all the flowers before the sun goes down, and all those lovesick lemurs will be paired up. And uh, Keep an eye out for zinni and the weeds. Remember, you only want to match colored flowers. To get started, click on any open flower. Ready? Hey, you're doing great. We're almost there. Joe's fur is well-groomed and alluringly scented. Tree gum is Betty's favorite snack, and she doesn't mind sharing. Way to go, kids! Just a couple more matches, and all the little hairballs will be taken care of. Soft-spoken Walter says he's a groomer, not a snarler. Sue's a strong leaper and was once voted most likely to venture out of the forest. Have fun, you lucky lemurs! Hey, you're getting the hang of this. Hey, you chose a new color. See if you can find a flower to match it. Edwina's a native of Lemur Island who enjoys the tree scene, but prefers her fellows to be non-leapers. Tony likes gals with bulgy eyes. Downers include cold weather and habitat destruction. Go out and enjoy, kids! Way to go on the matching! A member of the Leaping Lemurs Youth Brigade, Kevin is an enthusiastic groomer. Carol is an agile leaper. She's working toward her tree jumping certification and likes her bananas right. Have fun, you two! Hey, you're getting the hang of this. Likes to sleep all day and swing all night. 
Cheryl also enjoys the nocturnal scene and hopes to one day have a tree of her own. Sounds like a perfect match. Hey, you're doing great. We're almost there. Andrew refuses to be classified as a mere mammal. He likes to forage and enjoys fruit of all kinds. If strong night vision is your thing, then Patty is your gal. Her favorite treat is tree gum. Have fun, kids. You certainly know how to say it with flowers. With long, strong hind legs, Audrey has no trouble leaping around Lemur Island. Mickey prides himself on his grooming and likes a gal with a ring tail. Have fun, you two swingers! Jessica loves the leafy green trees of Lemur Island. Dislikes include rotten bananas and spiky branches. Blake is famous for his hooting calls and claims he once jumped off Lemur Lover's Leap. What a pair! Hey, you're getting the hang of this. Cecile loves the white sandy beaches of Lemur Island and lists sunbathing as her favorite pastime. Lionel enjoys athletics and spends much of his day scratching with his grooming claw. What a great pair! You're well on your way to a beautiful bouquet. Homer is a Class A jumper who digs the Lemur Island nightlife scene. Flavia has keen night vision, a good thing since she's also nocturnal. Don't stay out too late, you guys. You're well on your way to a beautiful bouquet. Hal is a mid-island lemur who enjoys long afternoons in the canopy. Betty, a familiar face on Lemur Island, is currently playing Mariska in the Treetop Players production of West Side Lemurs. Have a fabulous time, kids! Just a couple more matches and all the little hairballs will be taken care of. Not only is Sam arboreal, he's diurnal too. Lucinda has a special way with leaves and springs with abandon. I see a bright future for these two.
certainly know how to say it with flowers. Doreen is well known on Lemur Island for her long tail and fuzzy face. Trevor prefers to hang out with dominant females and prides himself on his scent marks. Have a groovy time, you two. certainly know how to say it with flowers. With his long pointed muscle, Egbert's a handsome and fun-loving fella. Evenly haired Emily is a lot of laughs and good with grubs, too. Go for it, you crazy kid. Hey, you're getting the hang of this. Seth was second runner-up in the Lemur Island Leaping Contest, where he specialized in branch to branch. Rita has small ears with white fringes and enjoys all kinds of fruit, grasses, and herbs. I sense a dream date. Very nice. Can you feel the love? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Zinny. Nobody knows it. Rudy is an eligible and eager bachelor who loves his swinging treetop pad. Stella enjoys the lemur island tree scene and likes a fellow with a long tail. Go enjoy your chaperone date, kids. Go back. Thanks for helping. See you next time. Styracosaurus Spelunker. Carnotaurs. We should keep moving. Let's hide out in this cave. It's dark, but at least it's dry. I like dry. It's the dark part I'm having trouble with. There's only one way to the nesting grounds, and that's through this pile of rocks. Line up the rocks and knock them out before the carnotaurs break through. See if you have what it takes to become a Styracosaurus Spelunker. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move that ball around.
This is much easier than kicking those rocks with your big feet. Excuse me, but I'm large full. You may just extricate us from this claustrophobic tube. Y huh? Get us out of the cave, dear. Well, why didn't you just say that? You've earned the highest score. No stopping us now. You know, Ema, I've never been fond of small, cramped places. Then again, when you're your size, that's just about everywhere. You may just extricate us from this claustrophobic tomb. Y huh? Get us out of the cave, dear. Well, why didn't you just say that? Those rocks disappearing. I think this kid just might get us out of here. With them, we simply must invite them to join the herd. Look at those rocks disappearing. I think this kid just might get us out of here. With them, we simply must... Oh dear, an unfortunate flesh. But let's keep trying. This is much easier than kicking those rocks with your big feet. Excuse me, but I'm large bone. Look 
at that. The kid's stronger than it looks. Well done, little one. Look at those rocks disappearing. I think this kid just might get us out of here. With them, we simply must invite them to join the herd. You may just extricate us from this claustrophobic tomb. Huh? Get us out of the cave, dear. Well, why? Finally, a ray of light. That will most certainly come in handy. You know, Ema, I've never been fond of small, cramped places. Then again, when you're your size, that's just about everywhere. Oh dear, an unfortunate place, but let's keep trying. Finally. Eve, have you ever seen such talent? Mm -mm -mm. No, honey, I haven't. And I've been around for a long time. I've never been fond of small, cramped places. Then again, when you're your size, that's just about everywhere. Well, happy day! You've got the hang of this. We'll be out in no time. We'll see you later. That's it, everyone. Push together. <gasps> the nesting grounds. Our new home. And it comes with a pool. Iguanodon Potathon. Just click on a level and we'll get started. Click on the picture of Crone if you'd like to play against the computer. Click on the picture of Ema and Baleen if you'd like to play with a friend. Boy, I'm glad you're here. We could really use your help finding some water and keeping Crone from drinking it all up for himself. Use your arrow keys to move Baleen from dot to dot. Every time you make a square, a water hole will pop up and you'll get points. Try and get more water than Crone and we win. Oh yeah, watch out for mud holes and sinkholes. Ready? The game will start after the sun flashes three times. Here's a couple of hints. Be careful not to walk over a path you've already made, because it'll disappear. You can close Crone Square for points, 
But if he has three sides already finished, stay away from it because he'll get the points since he did most of the work. Ready? Okay, go. Oops, try not to walk over your own line. Oops, try not to walk over your own line. Oops, try not to walk over your own line. Wow, you sure know your way around a water hole. Walk over your own line. You win! Team Baleen rocks! Wow! You sure know your way around a water hole. Oops! Try not to walk over your own line.
Oops, try not to walk over your own line. Wow, you sure know your way around a water hole. You win! Team Baleen rocks! Check out that cool, fresh water. Yum! Oops, try not to walk over your own line. You win! Team Baleen rocks! Oops, try not to walk over your own line. Hey, too bad we can't bottle this stuff. I can't believe it. You guys are both so good that the game is tied. This calls for a tiebreaker. Check out that cool, fresh water. Yum. We can't bottle this stuff. You win! Team Baleen rocks! Fresh water. Yum. Oops. Try not to walk over your own line. Bottle this stuff. You win! Team Baleen rocks! Check 
out that cool, fresh water. Yum. Way to go! You and Baleen make a swell team! Go back! We're out of here! Catch you later! Start... Line a dyna... Sign... Line a... Hey there! Ready to make some cool dinosaurs? Click here to start a new puzzle. I'll save your puzzles over here. Just click on the puzzle you want to play. To get rid of a puzzle forever, click on it and drag it over to Mr. Ginormous Key. Alright, go to it! Can't wait to see your puzzles! You know what would be really great? A lemur puzzle! <laughs> Wonder why nobody thought of that one. Getting hard, getting harder. It was the bigger the better when it came to the Enormosaurus. Just one of his horns weighed as much as a tippy canoe. One swipe of his massive tail and a bowling ball fell into the pond. In times of trouble, the Enormosaurus ate an armpit that was bright orange. Getting harder. Get pretty tough. Getting hard. Play, Prince, and choose another puzzle. Pick a puzzle. Start a new puzzle. The first thing we need to do is make a dinosaur. How, you might ask? Couldn't be simpler. First thing... Dinosaur... Dinosaur parts? Dinosaur parts? Di dinosaur parts? D 
Dino dinosaur parts. Dinosaur parts. Dinosaur parts. Dinosaur parts. Back. Dinosaur parts. Background. Look, you've made a scare zinniosaurus. Perhaps you could give it just a, a tiny roar. Okay, now it's time to make some noise. We're gonna make a roar for the dinosaur you just made. Here are a whole bunch of dino sounds that I've collected on your behalf. Click on the sounds you want and put them up in the sound arranger. To hear your sounds, click here. Use this slider to make your sounds faster or slower. If you want to make your own sounds, make sure the microphone is hooked up, then click on the record button. You might need to get a grown-up to help you set up the microphone. The sounds you create will be stored here. You can put the sounds you recorded in the sound arranger. If you decide you don't want one of your sounds, just drag it over to the hungry carnotaur. When you've made the perfect roar for your dinosaur, click on the check mark. Dino has something to say. Just drag a sound into the sound arranger. <laughs> All done. <laughs> Loud and obnoxious. My favorite kind of roar. Now we need a story. Now we're gonna choose some words that will go in a story about your dinosaur. Click on any three pictures you like in the choose a word box and put them in the word collector box. To hear the words you chose, click here. If you want to record your own words, make sure the microphone's hooked up, then click on the record button. You might need to get a grown-up to help you set up the microphone. The words you... Noodles. Snow. A watermelon. All done. Exactly the way I would have done it. Hmm. Let's see what happens next.
The hungriest dinosaur of all time was the bottomless pitotops. It could eat noodles in one bite. It would always save snow just in case it got hungry. And of course you could always find a watermelon in its cave. Pretty tough. Send your choose another puzzle. Pick a puzzle. Pick a puzzle. Start a new puzzle. Dinosaur parts. Dinosaur parts. Dinosaur parts. Dinos dinosaur parts? Dinosaur parts? Dinosaur dinosaur parts? Di All done. Background background. All Ooh, that one's a beauty. You are good. Now, to the voice chamber! <coughs> All done! Nice sound! Let's find some words to go with it! A peacock! Green slime. Green slime. A fireplace. Mud. All done. Good work! Now we're ready to do your puzzle. Some of the hottest sounds on the prehistoric charts belonged to the Rakanadon. Dinosaurs would trade a peacock for mud just to hear him roar. His tapping feet and twisting tail made green slime swoon. Some of the hottest sounds on the prehistoric chart. Start a new puzzle. Start a new puzzle. Go back! Who made this thing? <laughs> 